Hey everyone, this is Kevin, your failed journalist, and today we're talking a little bit about Disney Plus and how Disney Plus is actually censoring movies and television specials and who knows what else on the Disney Plus streaming platform. Now then, you might have recalled that when I originally did my Simpsons on Disney Plus videos, and I'm still making those because, you know, that's, that's kind of still a thing, I was concerned that certain Simpsons episodes would be pulled and that certain jokes would be taken out of The Simpsons because the adult nature of the show does not fit well with the family-friendly nature of Disney+. Plus. Turns out I was, for the most part, wrong about that. With the exception of the infamous Michael Jackson episode, Stark Raving Dad, which you can still find on DVD, which is out there, by the way, Disney actually left The Simpsons fairly intact. They didn't even censor the, uh, the follow Bart's wiener joke in the Simpsons movie, and I find that very fascinating. I also find it fascinating that the latest Simpsons short is labeled as TVPG when it is really rated G, but that's another video for another day. However, it turns out I might have been right to be suspicious of certain stuff being on the Disney Plus platform because Disney has actually been caught censoring a famous Disney movie named Fl Splash. Now then, for those of you who are not aware of what Splash is, this is a Ron Howard-directed film starring Tom Hanks and Daryl Hannah, where Tom Hanks falls in love with a mermaid. Fun fact, Madison was not a very popular name before this movie came around. The mermaid's name is Madison. But once this movie came out, the movie proved to be so popular that a lot of girls end up being named Madison. And as such, Madison has been a regular name for young girls ever since, so how's that for a little bit of Disney trivia that you will typically not see in the game? You also won't see this in any Disney trivia games because it's officially not a Disney movie. It is a Touchstone movie. In fact, here's some more history behind this movie. This is the first Touchstone Pictures release. Touchstone Pictures was a label created by former Disney CEO Ron Miller and former son-in-law to Walt Disney, I should add because he wanted the company to be able to make more adult movies. So he made the Touchstone Pictures label so that they could make movies and put stuff in those movies that would never fly under the Disney label. And now it's on Disney+. Plus. You might see what one of the problems there. Now, in all fairness, the movie did get a PG rating. The movie was PG for language and brief nudity. Funny enough, someone at Disney did not get the memo originally because they listed it as PG-13. Although this is a screenshot because they have recently fixed it to the PG rating, which now seems especially appropriate considering what has transpired. But anyway, Disney has some pretty strict standards of what is considered family entertainment. And as a result, some of the brief scenes in this movie are might be a little too spicy for families so, so what did they decide to do well they decided to go all cats on the subject here is a tweet from allison Pre pregler fr former channel awesome of course twitter doesn't always work on the first go ahead so let's watch this brief little clip even out of context and let's just see if anything looks a little strange about it just a little strange. I mean, that didn't look weird, weird at all, right? I mean, look, not not that we're going to become peeping toms or anything, but yeah, that looks totally, that looks totally natural. It looks even more na natural when it's in mo motion. Like, yeah, no, that, that. That looks natural. That, that that looks like that should be there. So, anyway, here's my issue with all of this. Aside from the fact that originally Disney thought this was PG-13 and they thought they were going to edit a PG-13 movie, this does lead some credibility to the fact that Disney Plus might very well start censoring content if they start finding it problematic. I find it amazing that Splash is on Disney+. Plus. 
There is no reason for Splash to be on Disney+. Plus. None whatsoever. It was created under the Touch on Picture banners, specifically because it was going to be too spicy for Disney+. Plus. Why is it on Disney+, Plus? why isn't it on Hulu instead? I don't know. That's just something Disney's doing. Now, in Disney's, in all fairness to Disney, before the movie starts, they have a notification that says this film has been modified and edited from its original version. So they are being a little upfront about the fact that the movie is edited. It's also not the only edit in the movie. There's another shot where Daryl Hannah's walking out of the water, and you can see um, her full moon, so to speak, and that has been blurred. Like, you know, and obviously the effect is... Do they have that picture there? Yeah, there it is. See, it's blurred. It's just as convincing of an effect as you can see. But it's also not the only movie that Disney has edited. I don't know how many of you are big Star Wars fans, but if you are, there is a great three-hour documentary about the making of the original trilogy called The Empire of Dreams. Super fascinating documentary. It's on Disney+. Plus. However, on Disney+, Plus, before the movie starts, even though it's given a TV-14 rating, there is that little disclaimer beforehand that says, um, this film has been edited and modified from its original version. Now, I don't know what's been removed or modified, but something has. And that's the problem. This is one of the things that us hardcore film buff fans were fearing would happen once Disney put everything on streaming. And granted, they earned a lot of goodwill from us for not editing Dumbo and not editing Hunchback of Notre Dame and not editing Pinocchio, basically leaving those films alone and just put a little disclaimer in the description that it has outdated cultural references. But, how, like, like, can we trust them to do that forever? I mean, here, the Marvel movies are watched mainly by kids. They shouldn't be, I think they're too violent for most kids, but they mostly are. What happens if during Iron Man, which was pre-Disney era, where Tony Stark takes a woman home, in, to bed and even though they don't really do much there's a scene where they're kissing and rolling on the bed what happens if Disney decides you know what that five second clip is too much for our platform let's remove it what then like I guess they're just going to remove it what happens if say maybe we get to the point where that description that these movies contain outdated cultural references become too problematic for Disney, and they say, you know what, we're not really sure we want to have this fight anymore, let's just start removing some of the smoking, and maybe we can change some of the character voices, like, we'll just re-record them. Like, what happened, like, Disney is now showing that they are okay with editing movies, if it isn't family-friendly, but that can only go so far before they start overreaching. I think The Simpsons would be a prime target at some point. Like, like I'm going to share like a little story. I took my niece to Universal Studios right before everything got shut down. So thank goodness we did that. We took her on The Simpsons ride, and we ate at the Krusty Burger. And she loved that ride, loved the animation and stuff that was in the Krusty Burger, and pretty much wanted to um, watch The Simpsons when she got home. Well, the problem is The Simpsons isn't... isn't um, appropriate for a six-year-old to watch. It really isn't. So, of course, the answer was no. Well, what happens if enough parents are like, my kids are asking to watch The Simpsons, but it's not appropriate. Does Disney remove The Simpsons and put it on Hulu? That would be the best thing to do. But The Simpsons is a huge selling point to adults for um, the platform. So, and maybe it just removes some jokes. I mean, honestly, The Simpsons could be G-rated with some minor editing in most cases. But do we even want to go down that path? So, even though it's just two shots, and so far I can only confirm these two movies have been edited to some extent, it sets a dangerous precedent. If Disney has to start editing the movies, I would prefer that they take them off Disney Plus and put them onto Hulu or something like that, because this is not a winnable situation. If anything, it just shows the people who are politically correct who don't want anything offensive in their content to say, see, look, you, you edited this one thing and who was really hurt by it? Why don't you edit this as well? It's not something I support. It's not a precedent I want to see uh, be set. I'm not a fan of it at all. So anyway, 
that's where we're going to leave this one. What is your take on this? Do you agree with this decision to um, cats, uh, if I, if you will, catify, maybe we'll call it, Daryl Hannah's booty? Or do you prefer that not be the case? I'd love to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.